Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. I'll make videos uh, a little bit later about gold, oil, currencies, stocks as well. Um, but we'll just focus this one video on Bitcoin success. For the most part, what crypto click is supposed to be about. It's not commodity click or currency click or energy click. Um, right, so let, let's, 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 let's back up a second then. So f first of all, this is your daily, a series of lower highs, lower lows, but obviously a short signal that was generated last week basically on the Ichimoku cloud. That's fine. That's fine. It is what it is. It's a short signal, um, not a trend signal. So this signal will take you down to the next major level of, um, of resistance or support, sorry, uh, because this is a short signal. We're going to, down to support. And so this doesn't necessarily have to make a new low. It, it honestly doesn't. I mean, we, we could, <laughs> in theory, we could probably, we could, we could even just scrape these lows around here. <clears throat> There's no reason why 18,750 wouldn't be the support that it goes down to, but I think you know the size of a of a signal like this, given the time frames, uh, plus the uh, the general trajectory of the of the trend, would suggest probably deeper. To be honest with you, I, and and I would I would make the case that it it would make more sense for it to attempt to double bottom. Um, I'm not saying that this is the absolute bottom, but to attempt to double bottom uh, with this leg down. So we're talking effectively about 18,000 flat, just front running ever so slightly the uh, the wick that came down on that capitulation dump. Remember, this was accentuated by, you know, three arrows and all this all this other stuff, you know. Uh, this time it's just trend base, uh, downtrends, uh, you know, continuation of the bear market basically so slightly less aggressive although you know backed up with the TA to suggest that this is the direction but there is a silver lining amongst this very dark cloud or should I say a red Ichimoku cloud um, which is that on both uh, the daily and uh, and on the four hourly we, we, we appear to be forming uh, some re reasonable bullish divergence okay so you've got your low here so far we've not yet made a lower low but if we were to do a lower low so as long as the uh, the RSI continues to make a higher low, you know, there will be two tags of bullish divergence on your RSI. Obviously, we need to monitor the situation as we as this occurs. Same would apply to the money flow index. Now, this is present on not just the daily, but it's also on the four hourly, which is working on a, a three drives basically, which is more bullish than just two drives of bullish divergence. So it, it would suggest that bouncy bounce time, I would suggest, uh, is is more likely as we approach these lower zones. Um, maybe, like I say, in the in the immediate term, you know, maybe at this 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 some point this week, as that short signal is most likely to play out any minute. To be honest, if you've been waiting a week, normally you'd expect over a, a two week period after a daily signal, you know, should should have played out, but after a, a couple of weeks, really. So we'll be looking for this to uh, maybe form that double bottom and get a bounce from there. Now the bounce could just be a very anemic bounce. You know, based on the four hourly, we, let's just say we, we, we double bottom on 18,000 flat. We could move up about 20% you know, 18% at the moment, to retest this 200 exponential moving average on a four hourly, that would be a bearish retest basically, coming back up to a major level of support, sorry, resistance, sorry. But, um, you know, it's, it's highly speculative at this point because we've not even seen the bounce, we've not even seen the drop. We're kind of in no man's land waiting for it to decide. Um, but th these are the sort of things that you'd be looking for. And like I say, we've got at the moment quite steep um, trajectory of RSI. So it looks relatively likely that we would get three drives of bullish divergence on the next leg down. And uh, I, I would I would put it to you that rather than making a new low straight away, uh, that basically the the this is just speculative, um, but more or less this area gets either front run or ever so slightly, um, ever so slightly uh, compromised, uh, to, uh, and then we bounce from there. Probably a significant bounce based on that bullish divergence. Really, uh, this is also present on the weekly. So if we just go to the weekly, whoa, uh, let's have a look at the weekly here for you. So just get rid of that. We don't really need that, nor do we need this. Um, it would be. Oh, I've got rid of my whole RSI. That's that was a bit extreme. Um, right. So uh, we we see this brewing here on the money flow index. This is a very extreme low, an extremely low low. And this, in many ways, looks more like a capitulation low than anything else. Now, lows on money flow index don't. Most of the time, they just don't translate to a low on price action. Uh, but this has been an extreme low. I think this is the lowest 
of all time, if not, it's the second lowest of all time, which is quite a big thing for Bitcoin. And if you think about all the reasons why, you know, like I say, all the uh, the FUD events that were real, the liquidation events, uh, uh, that makes perfect sense for it to be so ridiculously low. This was more than just panic selling. This was this was selling through, you know, people having to bloody sell uh, to keep their heads above water. Um, so yeah, I I, I see that as a unrealistic low to be made once again unless of course you find other reasons for people to sell at unnecessarily low prices because they have to so it makes it would make the case that this could be forming the bullish divergence on the money flow index to which has always printed the bottom now we've talked about this in the past uh, when we came down to this low because this was an unreasonable low as well um, uh, and we see these reads here so low higher low low higher low it's pretty un it's not very neat there but low higher low and these two here actually actually perfectly nailed the lows uh, so we'll just have a quick look at these over here Sorry, I'm making a real mess of a chart today, aren't I? Yeah, what's going on here? Um, right, so we just uh, have, a, have a quick look at all these lows. So here was your first low around basically 6,000-ish area. <clears throat> and then your capitulation low forming the higher low, which was the absolute low. Same thing happened over here. So we're dancing around this, yeah, about the six to $7,000 zone after a very long period of consolidation, like uh, six, nine months worth of consolidation from this peak over here. And then we had the capitulation dump from March, uh, the uh, the COVID dump, marking the absolute low. So we might be looking at something like that on the horizon. And that would make sense from a cycle perspective, because we've been speculating that on a time, you know, as far as the time and cycle is concerned, we're, we'll be thinking Bitcoin is going to put a low in anywhere from September to November, December. So we, we've got quite a long wait, to be honest with you, to wait for this absolute low to kick in. But we've got something that we can hold on to, which is this, this, and potentially this as well. Like I say, of course, we can always make another lower low on this money flow index. But I think uh, I think it's gone on for long enough. And I think, uh, I think if we do find ourselves dropping down to a significant level, there is a chance. <coughs> there is a chance that that would be the bottom. But this first, or should I say this next leg, down I don't think will be the bottom I think this might it might based on the shorter term time frames with a four hourly give us an opportunity for a, a decent bounce and then just continuation down look I mean if we back up from all of this for a minute you know the, the lows could be in uh, but we also have to recognize that the lows aren't necessarily in for stocks or anything like that and that uh, the dollar continues to run high and um, and we're about to go into a what, what what we've been told and what we're assuming is going to be a pretty Pretty nasty winter period. Uh, prices, you know, soaring high, energy going crazy. Maybe even rations. I've heard through the conspiracy grapevine. But you know, who am I to say what's real and what's not in this in this simulated reality we appear to be living in? So it's difficult for me to uh, to to say what's real on uh, and uh, you know and what is actually coming. But it doesn't feel. You know, it doesn't feel very nice, uh, to be honest with you. From every direction, whether you're a conspiracy or not, there's doom, gloom, and high prices. Um, so, yeah. So, that I mean, that is the general takeaway of what I think is going to happen this week. I think we are going to come back down. I think we, we there is a chance that we'd find a double bottom around this area and then find a decent bounce, probably just based on the four, uh, four hourly exp uh, 200 exponential is where I'd uh, be targeting the top on this bounce, um, which, again, is over 15% maybe from wherever we drop down to. Let's just say we managed to actually fall down to, to this 18,000 of bounce from it. <clears throat> yeah, from today, I mean, it's an 18, almost 19 uh, percent move, which is fair play, but from when it happens, I don't know when that would be. Could be today. Uh, honestly, it could be by the time you've watched the video. It could be any minute. Uh, keep an eye on the bullish divergence and then probably, I think, uh, arguably play that for a bounce. Um, if I have the capacity, which today, I hope it doesn't happen today, so the last day that I've got all the kids at home, they start back at school tomorrow and I cannot bloody wait. Not that, you know, I've not had a great time, but uh, yeah, I want to do something. <laughs> I need to relax, man. Uh, and trade, obviously. Um, right, so that is the takeaway for Bitcoin. Potential uh, drop any minute, really, uh, but, but not forming an absolute new low. If it does, and so be it, we gravitate um, over to the weekly to see how that looks. There's no point, in my opinion, to try and catch the absolute low, because if it is the market low cycle, uh, sorry, the cycle, the market cycle low, 
there'll be a period of accumulation anyway and there'll be signs of life moving into a bull market so there's no need to really try and you know stick your neck out and get too clever about it but i think if we do find a double bottom around here um which like i say seems reasonable to me after this short signal on the daily's played out a bounce of at least 10 to 15 percent is is, is, uh, is 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 probably on the cards and to be honest let's just have a quick look at the daily i mean i think it's unreasonable to imagine a bounce all the way up to the uh, 200 exponential on the daily uh, 50 exponentials 22 21 exponentials 2800 so yeah i would focus mostly on the um on the four hourly for this potential bounce or bear trap or whatever it might be referred to i'm just calling it a, uh, a double bottom for the time being <clears throat> we've done all this sort of stuff before really uh, double bottomed around here triple bottomed but the more uh, relevant one i would say would be looking at this one so a giant consolidation big move down an emit move up a double bottom and then a move now, this was obviously in the context of a bull market. Um, forget what happened shortly after, but uh, I think we might be looking at something similar to that, um, but a bit more anemic because obviously this is a bear market. We won't be looking at such a significant move up, but we would be looking at yeah a, a nice move based on the bullish divergence on that four hourly. So I wouldn't want to be shorting Bitcoin at this point now. Um, I would be looking for a, if anything, yeah, like a maybe a, a buy the dip. Or a, uh, or, or a very small long, to be honest. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day and take it easy.